to the outpost. This, this right here, this great big huge rock, I'm going to use as a fire reflector. Um, and then the smaller ones I'm going to use to build up so that the fire can't um, get away and spread too easily. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get my tools together, go down there, uh, dig out a little bit where I can get the rocks placed, the bottom layer, and we'll see if we can't build up and make a nice little fire pit for um, cooking and uh, heat and so forth. All right, well, let's see if we can't uh, get some of these rocks placed here. Running into all kinds of roots. Got a pretty good uh, little fire pit here. Got a nice fire reflector back there. Uh, got the walls built up on the side. Round rocks, they're very hard to <laughs> stack together. Anyway, so we got a really nice uh, fire pit for the base camp, um, temporary shelter, and uh, looking for, <laughs> kind of wish I had uh, something, I had brought something to cook on here because I'd like to have a fire and cooking this it looks so nice anyway um, I'm gonna go ahead and pack my stuff up and move back up there and I need to get uh, get busy on that wood shed that I had talked about because I'm cutting so much wood I need a place to store it so it can start drying out and getting dry for the fall so I think I'm gonna go up there and work on clearing a place out for that but anyway we got our fire pit done get me some more cordage where I can take this fly and lift it up a little bit higher it should come out right to about right in here so that will give smoke um, the ability to go up and will kind of shed some water off of it if it's raining uh, so yeah I'm excited about the fire pit what I'm getting ready to do is I'm going to make sure that I have a right angle here. In order to do that, you've got to set two points, which I came out a foot from each hole directly in front of the hole. Um, so I'm going to be offset a foot on each side. But what I will do is I will uh, get two points established right here. I will measure three feet one way. I will measure four feet the other way. And then that distance from there to this mark should be five. See how hard this ground is. If you have never seen it before, this right here is poison ivy. Um, it's three leaf. It grows on a tiny vine. Uh, it grows everywhere here. We have poison oak as well. And the only way that I've been able to cure it, 
I've tried calamine lotion and different things, but the only way that I have been successful is I take a surgical scrub brush that you use for washing hands, and um, I take some lye soap, and I, now I'm not advising this to anyone, but this is just what I do, and I scrub it, and, and it feels so good when you're scrubbing it, but anyway, once I get that done, and the skin is kind of red, uh, where I basically opened up the um, uh, epidermal layer. Uh, then I take Clorox, or I take bleach, and I rub on that. Now it will burn like fire, but in about two days it's gone. Well, I decided to take a break. Um, I got all the posts set up there. I got them tamped in. Um, I'm going to go down and check to see if I have um, some 2x6s to go around the top so that I can get started with the framing of the upper portion, the roof and the roof rafters. Um, I've got a log in here behind me, if you can see it, um, on the sawmill that I was saying that I needed to square up before I take it off where I can set it aside and um, put another log on there, uh, actually a pine log that I'm going to build those rafters out of. tree had a little indention uh, 
concave portion right there uh, where it didn't cut off all smooth based on the size of the tree because I am cutting seven by sevens but I think that this is nice it just adds a little bit of character and I think it's going to look good once it's stained and um, yeah I really like that
Well, I've got the uh, top ring on, so now what I'm going to do is I've got one more uh, one by seven. I'm going to put it in the middle, and then I'm going to go cut some. Uh, I'm going to put a pine log on the sawmill. I'm going to see if I can cut up some sheeting and put up there. Then I'm going to take a break and eat me a sandwich first.
Well, I managed to get this part of the roof done. It's about halfway. <clears throat> I'm probably going to need about um, 10 or 11 more uh, one by 10s. Um, so I'm going to have to saw up another log, but that log actually went a long way. Yeah, I got quite a bit done today. One more day should do that. Get me a fascia board, cut them all off even, and I can call that woodshed done. Welcome back to the outpost. As you can see, I had cut up a bunch of lumber. Um, I came in this morning about 7.30. I put a couple of logs on the sawmill. I got some 1x4s cut up and these, the other log that I had was able to make 1x9. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and see how far uh, what material I have will go and then I may have to cut up a little bit more. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Right, check it out I've got it done I've got the boards I've got the battens on I've got it trimmed off on both ends the woodshed is now complete the only thing I've got left to do is my battery on my drill ran down I've got to put a few screws in the battens in the middle there um, but that's not a big problem I can do that later I'm gonna let it uh, dry off a little bit and let the wind and the rain blow those shavings off on the top then I'm going to jump up there, like I said, and I'm going to take my torch, I'm going to burn it, and that will waterproof it, and I'll be able to stack wood now. I've got a bunch of wood down there in the bottom field, piled up in uh, different piles. I'm going to take this uh, wood stack right here, I'll move it in here, bring all those others up here. I'll have a place to put my wood, it'll be in the dry, it'll be ready for this fall to burn in the sawmill. Um, so that I can cut wood through the winter and we'll be able to use some down there at the bush camp um, so yeah I think it turned out quite nice now I'm gonna go down there and I've got a mm -hmm. fire going I'm gonna get me a New York strip on well I've got some Brussels sprouts got a red pepper and I've got some onion. We're going to cut that up 
and put that on the fire to go with our New York strip. Throw that over there where the little rabbits can have a feast. Gotta take care of our little furry friends. Got a strip. Boy, don't that look good. Kind of hungry working out there in that sun. Thank goodness I got here early this morning at about 7.30 because about 1 o'clock the sun topped the trees up there and I was just about done with that roof. Yeah, stay tuned. I've got a great recipe coming up um, here again. Um, it's a little dish they call beer ox. I'll be doing that in a Dutch oven. Stay tuned because you never know what we're going to show or something that we might surprise you with. Pink in the middle. Mm. I'm sorry, I feel guilty, but oh, good. Mm. Vegetables mm. on point. Mm. Oh, wonderful. juicy that is. Look at that.
Let me know if y'all, if you have any suggestions or comments or ideas about anything that I'm doing up here, please feel free to uh, make a note down there in the comment section uh, on our Instagram or, or Facebook account. Um, I'm not an expert by any means, and if you've done anything like this before and I can learn from you, please uh, feel free to share that uh, if you would like to. Um, and if we can kind of get a group thing going, then other people can learn as well. Um, if you like this type of content and you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and uh, hit the little notification bell. It'll let you know when we've got a new video up. And like the videos if you um, are, are enjoying this type of content. And um, I feel very blessed to be able to film this and, and share it with everybody. I got a lot of different ideas um, got a outdoor kitchen excuse me that I'm gonna build up there at some point um, I got a, a barn as well um, the bush camp uh, you can see a picture of that in the um, Facebook uh, Smoky Mountain Outpost account uh, where I showed I, sh I showed a picture of the idea that we have it's gonna have a I guess somebody's hauling wood. Um, but uh, it's going to have a little hobbit house at the end of it that will sleep uh, four to six people. So be sure and check that out. Um, got a lot of good things uh, coming up, happening. Um, got some people coming over that are going to help me out. Um, just got a whole lot of great stuff going on. So be sure and um, stay up on everything that's happening here because I think you're going to enjoy it. Oh, look at that. Pink right there in the middle. Can you see that? Mm. Check that out. This is from my buddy Scrambled O. Look at that meat boy. Look at that. Pink on the inside, done around on the outside. Vegetables. Uh, onions, Brussels sprouts, red peppers, you cannot beat that. Everyone, I just want to say thanks so much for watching. Take care, be safe, go out in your life and make a difference, and I hope to see you at the outpost in the future.